Alright guys, sitting in my truck, uh, waiting on my director. He should be here in the next 15 minutes. We're going to meet up with a couple of the rescue squad guys and head over to the next county to uh, try to track somebody down. I don't know the story yet. All I know is it's somebody and they're in the next county. So, <laughs> wish us luck. <laughs> right, getting everything loaded up here. Got my Dr. Pepper. Got my tracking pole here. We're going to be taking this truck. Um, apparently we're going to be tracking a male in his 30s, mentally unstable. Been missing since Wednesday. It's uh, Friday now. So we're going to be going out there. The Tennessee Emergency Management Agency is going to be taking us out to a spot where he's supposed to be at. And uh, we're going to cut for sign. Apparently it's already been rolled over with ATVs and other people. So uh, hopefully we find something that helps out the investigation. Alright, taking a break. We've been tracking for about an hour now. We found some sign, but I'm thinking it's mostly the other uh, searchers that have been out here. Yep, big bucket. Oh, they found him. I guess the day was a success. Four wheeler found. 
around there, I won't be upset. <laughs> There's very little chance of that happening. All in all, it was a good day. Very good day. Individual found. All searchers made it out safe. Hey guys, I don't know how well you can see this. That's the track that we took. We searched just under two miles. One of the other teams found them while he was walking down the road. Just look at all the different volunteers that we had. There's a lot of people out looking for this guy. But everybody made it out safe. That's the important part. So anyways, until next time guys. Thumbs up. Alright guys, we're back now. Just wanted to give you guys a little review uh, to explain what happened today. Uh, late last night we got the call that one of our neighboring counties was conducting a search for an individual who had some physical and mental disabilities. Uh, so we came out this morning to help them out. We were the only man tracking crew out there. The area had already been searched heavily uh, with a grid search team. They had guys on four-wheelers, guys on horseback. They had helicopters and drones and everything looking for this guy. And uh, they were still actively grid searching while we were out there. Um, even with all the contamination from the other trackers in the area, we were still able to identify a lot of usable sign. Uh, in fact, we came up on one area where we knew we were on point, and we looked down, and there's bloodhound tracks right there. So the bloodhound had tracked the, that guy right where we were at, so we're tracking as well as a bloodhound. <laughs> That's always a good feeling. Uh, it, it was shortly after that that we got the call over the radio that the individual had actually been found. They found him walking along the roadway, probably about a mile from where we were at. Turns out that he had actually been hiding from the searchers uh, because he thought that he was in trouble. So that was compounding the, the difficulty that everybody had finding the guy. But he was fine. He was kind of kind of scratched up from being out in the woods, had a lot of bug bites on him, hadn't had any food or medication for the last uh, 24 hours at least. So he, he was in kind of rough shape, but I mean, he was not injured. And everybody made it out safe, and that's the most important part. So with realistic expectations in mind, things could not have gone smoother today. So really happy with the result. Everybody goes home safe. And, uh, hey, what more can you ask for? So anyways, guys, till next time, thumbs up, and uh, hope you enjoyed the video.